everybody's arguing about all these other Batman, and I'm just sitting here like, but where's the real Batman? Where's George freaking Clooney? I freeze. I'm Batman. A lot of different um, arguments being had about that, and uh, I want to get into all that because it's actually pretty interesting. And I might even offend some people. Because it's disrespectful to you. I know, me, offend some people. <laughs> because I'm not fully aware of the ins and outs of all the drama and how certain fan bases feel about other Batmans and Bat ladies and Bat girls and and otherwise bat people but we will talk a lot about the batman drama at least from my perspective what i think's going on clooney oh yeah so many of you know this but maybe you don't fully comprehend it there's sort of this division within dc it's like a sort of jeff johns camp versus Zack snyder camp is like the the simplest way i can put it but it's it's more complicated than that but essentially when it comes to Batman, the rumor right now, or the big story that was broke by the rap last year, it was Umberto Gonzalez, who is a good reporter. He is a good reporter. He broke that story. And the report is that the plan in Muschietti's uh, Flash movie is to basically do a version of Flashpoint in which Michael Keaton's Batman and a separate version of the Michael Keaton Bat Batman will be met in the future and the rumor is right now we don't know for sure but the rumor is that when we come back to the present with ezra michael keaton will be the bruce that is there waiting for him that essentially it's it's so there's two ways you could think of it and and man we're about to get really nitpicky and nerdy okay because in order to explain why people are mad i have to get really nitpicky and nerdy it's like Remember Jurassic Park where they had those little freaking toothbrush things and they're just sitting there like of the of the bones Try the toothbrush. That's the big rumor is that Michael Keaton's essentially going to come back and be the main Batman for the DCEU. I'm Batman. The reason that that is sort of a I don't know, like a sticking point I guess for the fan base is that many people want uh Ben Affleck to come back and be the Batman. There are other people that would like Pattinson to be the Batman. I'm vengeance. Now, what's ironic about all of this is that the multiverse concept is literally to, it's to make it so that all these things can exist. And they're like, is no canon? There's just like different canons. But then like a situation like yesterday happens and the crux of yesterday happened when a reporter, and I don't remember what, trade this guy writes for but this reporter he had said something that implied that keaton and um that keaton was replacing affleck or something people were using this article from this new york times guy as a weapon yesterday and they were like i told you ben affleck's gone ah! or like this article's fake affleck's clearly coming back ah! and then they use the article to stab somebody or whatever it was used as a weapon and all the while this guy had no idea what was going on he was like moving into a new apartment or something and the internet just erupted into chaos around this so here's my honest take on it i understand uh matthew's position on this because if you remember when i first dipped my toe into the pool that is dceu stuff uh i was hit with like a ton of backlash and whatever for even talking about ben affleck coming back and so i understand matt's uh anger and frustration because like people are discrediting his reports and talking about how ben affleck is not coming back as batman and they continue to say things like um oh no that's totally wrong it's obviously keaton etc etc so i totally understand matthew's position but here's the thing it's actually all true. Dude, Keaton is totally replacing Ben Affleck. I don't know why that upsets people. Like, why can that not be true? And it also be true that hopefully Ben will continue his story as Batman over on HBO Max. All right, let's get into Q&A. Okay, so I'm going to start going over uh, Super Chats. If you've got a question, you got a concern, you got a comment... If you put it in a super chat, it almost guarantees that I will read it. Within reason, I'll read everything. Um, 
If you don't have any loot, don't worry about it. Just throw your question in and I'll try to get to as many of those as I can as well, okay? Okay. Mr. Plasma says, hey Josh, have you heard of uh, Kaizen Sabers? They make uh, katana style lightsabers and have a dark saber variant that you should check out. I actually have one, yeah. Mason Graves says Val Kilmer dough. Oh yeah, I didn't even get to, well I did talk a little bit about my uh, my Clooney joke, but uh, what if Clooney actually showed up in the multiverse? Everybody's arguing about all these other Batman and I'm just sitting here like, but where's the real Batman? Where's George freaking Clooney? Hi Freeze, I'm Batman. Uh, Josh, do you think this is all distraction by Hamada to get the news off his Snyder Cut comments? He could have really screwed up HBO Max subs. Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. Oh man, so not to, not to um, cause not to cause any friction, you know, between me and my my queen. If you just pay attention to what I have noticed that Grace is saying, it is super clear she is lockstep with Team Hamada and she's actually been pretty soft on Jeff Johns lately as well. And uh, I think if you just think about what that probably means and what's going on with the studio and everything like that, it's a very interesting situation. Uh, and as for me, I just simply don't know. You know what I mean? I, I, I just simply don't know. I'm trying to make sense of it all, I think, like a lot of you are. The Bulldog Show slash Gaming says, Josh, do you think it's true that Pattinson is not going to be our Batman due to what is going on with him and Reeves? I don't know what to believe exactly with regards to that story. You know, look, it's very similar to the Pedro story in the sense that, like, dude, you don't want to believe that these people would have like super bad blood or that there would be this kind of tension or whatever but i always like to remind people that if you've ever worked with other human beings at a, a you know like a job i think you'll usually find that like human beings um tend to have issues who knows do i think it could all blow up absolutely it could all blow up i think we underestimate uh the possible tension that some of these people are going on and also if all of this is happening with the the, the batman movie and it does like Wonder Woman 84 numbers and impact, then it'll begin to feel really stupid that all of this time, energy, money, and stress is put on all of these individuals. Okay, let's talk about the Finn scene. Yeah, there was a scene shot with Finn where he was way more bad dude. In Maz's castle, he shot this scene and he kicked so much ass, dude. He went crazy like this the force kind of crazy and oh you're going to love this they thought it overshadowed ray they were like yeah but this overshadows ray what if he just screamed for ray the whole time instead so john boyega has every reason to be upset Vito says for tim have any book recommendations uh, of what? what what kind of books star wars books lords of the sith lost stars uh plagueis um dawn of the jedi um tons of good stuff out there those, those would be my just quick picks uh dirt wizard says i would love to see ben solo live on as a jedi if they do retcon things i think ben is coming back as a young person and I think he will play a significant role in what they're doing with Luke, Grogu, and all the Jedi. And I also think Ben will come back. Kylo, Adam Driver, will come back in some capacity post-Episode 9. I'm not sure what that looks like, but I think that uh, I think it's on the table. How's Al doing? I'm actually not sure. I'm going to give him a call right now. All right, everybody. We're going to call it there, okay? Much love. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video.